What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Frankie Hard Work, and I'm super duper back with another one. So before we go further, real quick, I want I need y'all to do me a favor. I need y'all to do your boy a favor. I need y'all to, if y'all not subscribed, subscribe to this channel. If you are subscribed, hit the bell button. Both of y'all, hit the bell button. You know what I mean? So every time I drop a video, you can get notified. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people ain't getting my notifications, and a lot of people's getting unsubscribed. So. Rock with your boy. If you rock with your boy, do that for your boy. Also, follow me on IG at Frankie Hard Work One. You know what I mean? But let's get to it. So, when it rains, it pours. Right? That's like one of the illest quotes I ever heard. Now, on top of it being Young Thug birthday today, happy birthday, man. Happy born day. You know what I mean? Real nigga ish. You know what I'm saying? Happy born day, man. Sorry for you going through this. But, um, yeah. Yeah. But, um, so I want to speak about Young Thug. So Young Thug is getting sued for $300,000. So let me break down this $300,000 on why he's getting sued. So January 9th, um, this year, like January 9th or whatever this year, he pretty much got offered to do a show at the State Farm Arena, right? Um, and the show, they was going to give him $300,000. They gave him up, uh, up front, they gave him $150,000 up front, man. I'm going to get into that in a second, but they gave him $150,000 up front, and then, you know, they was going to pay him the back end June 15, which the concert passed already, and um, so this is why they're suing him. So now, they're suing him because he pretty much is locked up and he can't fulfill his uh his dates, and pretty much they want the money that they paid him, and they want the extra money of the money that they was going to make, because I'm pretty sure of that $300,000 they was going to make, then uh, probably over a million dollars. So they will, they pretty much want the whole three thousand three hundred thousand dollars now. Now before I go into my next story, I want to just say this, man. Three hundred thousand dollars for forty five minutes. He was going to do a forty five minute set for three hundred thousand dollars. Yo, when you getting money like that, you shouldn't even be involving yourself in situations like this. Like, cause the way they was breaking down the new the new um indictments that they have against them. They were saying like he was just a part of everything allegedly. Like he was there. He drove to the gas station. They got him on camera. They got they got his cell phone, cell phone towers. He flew dudes to Miami allegedly, allegedly. But when you getting money like this, man, you should not be involving yourself in situations like this. This is small fry. You feel me? So now on top of that, now you know I just reported the other day about Young Thug pretty much getting new indictments. Go check that video out. It's doing pretty good. But um now, allegedly they say that the the witness, the snitch or whatever the witness, um, if I'm not mistaken, his name is Kenneth Copeland. And it's crazy because it's an evangelist named Kenneth Copeland too. So I'm not sure if it's a Ke Kenneth Copeland, but it's an evangelist that's named Kenneth Copeland too. That's crazy. But anyway, so now pretty much he was the alleged snitch that came out that, that they got out on papers, the papers leaked and stuff like that. And now the family is pretty much being threatened. So I want to read this quick article to y'all because I want to speak on something that the lawyer said. But first I'm going to read this real quick and I'm going to eventually go to that. So according to Atlanta's de discovery document and the part of co cooperating witness statement leaked online, prosecutors and young thugs attorney raised concerns over threats against the witness and family members quote YSL enthusiasts and or actual gang members are threatening someone they believe is cooperating with the state Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis told WSB TV quote and not only persons but their very small children now before I read the rest she know how to lay it on thick. That's one thing I give it to her. She know how to lay it on thick. And she know how to use, she know how to try to get empathy and sympathy from the public. She, no disrespect, but she a woman and women know how to do that. And she seemed like a very, um, uh, anyway. So, young thug lawyer Brian still called for the threats to stop. He also condemned the leak saying it's not helping his client. Absolutely not helping his client. I don't know why people doing this. I don't even understand. Sometimes I feel like it's a setup. Quote, this is putting people at risk and is poisoning the jury pool. End quote. Still said. Quote, please stop immediately. Still also added, 
Whoever is placing items of discoveries online is not doing anybody a favor. It is totally inappropriate to try. It is totally inappropriate to try this case in social media. This case will be tried fairly, justly in Fulton County Superior Court. And it also said that authorities are still investigating the leak. So let me speak on that part, right? Because this is crazy that a, 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 a document comes out about the snitch and it's how the snitch is to tell who a person is, apparently is, right? That's crazy that it came out like that and it's not looking good for it because they're going to blame it all on Young Thug and them. That's why they ain't let him home anywhere because the situations like this, right? They remember, remember they stated that Young Thug and Gunner pretty much got influence in the streets where they can find out who is this person or who's telling, who's saying this and that and get them touched, right? They said that. And now look what happens. Look what conveniently happens because I'm sorry, stuff like this don't happen in any other case. A whole document just don't come out, right? A whole document don't come out about a person who's telling in the actual case. That don't just come out easy like that. Okay, like what makes this case super special where the document coming out like that? I feel as though it was leaked on purpose. I really believe that document was leaked on purpose. Ain't no way in hell they know that this is a big case. This is a big case right here. Right? With some with some high profile rappers and a document that somebody snitching just leaks out online conveniently. I'ma keep saying that. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that because I feel as though they using this to their advantage. You read the quote that I said. She said, even now they threatening small children. And you got people out here that have nothing to do with no YSL or nothing like that. Because I can't see gang members being this stupid. I can't see it. Knowing that they man going through it like that, I can't see it. But you got people out here that want to be superheroes out here that have nothing to do with the case, but making the case even worse. Like, y'all need to knock it off because y'all look super corny and super thirsty. Y'all not going to get no points for it. Y'all not going to get nothing. Just like not too long ago. The nephew, the nephew allegedly got locked up, right? Allegedly got locked up and mentioned the fact that he's young thug nephew after the situation that what he did wasn't too good. Then you had somebody else threatening the, th on on the Instagram page, threatening the DA, or was it the DA? Or, or somebody about they gonna kill him and you getting locked up but you were supposed to be on behalf of YSL? Relax y'all, chill out, you're not getting no extra points, you're not getting nothing. Like y'all doing way too much in real talk to get right back to the case. I really feel like that document was leaked on purpose. Ain't no way in hell that case that should come out that easy like that. In that case, everything else, big high profile cases, it'll be coming out online. Before, I mean, it'll be on leaked online before it happens. Which cases were way more interesting, way more on a big, way more on a big whole bigger level and everything. But for some reason, this is leaked like this. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. Do you feel like this document was leaked? Y'all let me know. I mean, leaked on purpose. Do you feel like it was leaked on purpose? And do you feel like this was kind of to help the, the, the opposing team? Y'all let y'all boy know how y'all feel. Let me know in the comments. I'll holler back.